hello viewers this is upon you and welcome to another video today in this video we will learn how to calculate rainfall anomaly index first of all we have to know what is rainfall anomaly index rainfall anomaly index or rai is a drought index which is used to analyze the intensity and frequency of rainy and dry years so in this video you will learn how to calculate this rainfall anomaly index and you all know rainfall anomaly index uh, can be calculated using precipitation data only no other data is required for this and rainfall anomaly index was developed by one Roy 1965 and there are uh, two types of rainfall anomaly index one is positive anomaly and the other is negative anomaly and we use two formulas for positive anomaly and negative anomaly so for positive anomalies we used 3 into n minus n bar divided by m bar minus n bar and on the other hand we use uh, only a negative sign before the formula of uh, the positive anomalies if you use a negative sign then it will uh, turn into a negative anomalies formula here you can see the notation of uh, the variables where N stands for monthly, yearly or seasonal rainfall, rainfall, annual rainfall or monthly rainfall which, uh, which in millimeter units and N bar stands for average of monthly, yearly or seasonal to type here see. seasonal rainfall in millimeter of the historical series okay and uh, m bar stands for average of the 10 highest monthly yearly or seasonal precipitations of the historical series which uh, in millimeter units and x bar stands for average of the highest monthly uh, it, this is not highest this is the lowest okay lowest monthly yearly or seasonal precipitation of the historical series in millimeter uh, so let's start first of all here you can uh, see this uh, this column is for year from 1961 to 2018 and this column stands for annual rainfall this one okay we can we can write it n okay and now you have to copy this one copy and here you can paste two times okay you can paste two times now you have to do one thing that is uh, you have to you have to filter it as uh, lowest to highest and highest to lowest value data okay this one the smallest to largest okay and this one for largest to smallest okay and now here you can see we need data here m bar which stands for maximum or highest yearly precipitation of the historical series okay average of the 10 highest yearly precipitation of the historical 
switch okay then we need only 10 values here you can see this is the uh, the first value and this is the tenth value so we don't need the other values so we can clear this okay and now we have to do the average of this data average and this one the average value okay uh, this one the lowest average so we can write here x average is this one only data okay and now the maximum average data here copy and paste okay now I can clear it okay now you have to do one thing that you need the average of the annual rainfall data so here the average this one so copy it and paste here this one is the average rainfall data okay clear it now uh, we need to look at our formula here you can see the rainfall anomaly index is 3 into n minus n bar divided by m bar minus n bar for positive anomalies so let's do the first thing n minus n bar this one the values for n or annual rainfall and this one the n bar so we need to do here n minus n bar this one you can do it or you can write here the value to 10.7 to 4 then enter this one you can drag it okay uh, here we have values uh, positive and negative so we have to calculate both positive anomalies and negative anomalies but here you can see the values are random so we have to filter it okay data filter smallest to largest select this data and now filter it okay now here you can see the uh, smallest values or negative values are on the top and the positive values or largest values are in the bottom so we can easily calculate now so for this we have to we have to do or we have to insert formula for you can see here we already calculated n minus n bar now we have to calculate m minus n bar m bar minus n bar so let's calculate m minus m n bar 
m minus n bar so this is the maximum average m bar and this is n bar so we have to do we have to calculate the uh, value of m bar minus n bar so calculate uh, the values for m bar or m average minus n average so let's calculate it m average minus n average equal to this one stands for m average minus an average okay and now we have to calculate the the value for uh, this one this one it stands for x average x average uh, n minus n bar divided by x bar or x average minus n average uh, for this we have to calculate here x average minus m average equal to x average minus n average okay now let's calculate the rainfall anomaly index so for this we have to insert formula 3 times three times n minus n bar divided by for negative anomalies x bar minus n bar so this one we have to insert here the exact value minus 550 four, 424 okay okay all the uh, negative anomalies are calculated here and uh, these are the rainfall anomaly index for negative values and now we have to calculate the positive anomalies for this type here 3 times divided by 6 this one this one maximum average minus average rainfall annually we can type here the exact value 639.9759 okay enter okay okay these are the positive anomalies rainfall anomaly index so we have got all the values for rainfall anomaly index now we want to format cells number okay okay now we don't need these values so we want to clear and this okay you have to copy first copy and then then you have to paste only data format okay now you can you can clear 
this trace column okay now copy these values and paste here okay now layer contents here okay and now we want to for we want to filter the smallest to largest smallest to largest okay and these are the years oh. and these are the values for rainfall anomaly index okay okay these are uh, the these are the values for rainfall anomaly index if you want to plot graph then you can also plot graph so that's all for today thank you for watching